Do I need to lighten up this room? No, I think you, you are fine. I think my, my settings, I bought this camera. Um, but yeah, I bought the Sony camera and everything was like all screwy. So I decided to go on webcam. But we're going to get started. We're live now. Welcome back to another Sunday Fun Day with um, Dudley Do right here. And I have Gwen here. You want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hello, hello, everyone. I'm Gwen James. I am an entrepreneur. I am a financial life broker. And you probably say, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> she, gets uh, it. she gets it in order, guys. She gets it in yeah. order. So today I thought it would be really special for me. You know, every Sunday I get on here and I blabble about real estate or just small business. I wanted to bring somebody else on here who was knowledgeable in the financial world. And she is a life insurance expert. So we're going to get to hear um, a couple of things about, you know, life insurance um, and how we can benefit from it um, today. So this is going to be just kind of like a conversation um, type of a Sunday fun day. So if you guys are tuning in, and you guys got questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comment. I'll get her email address. So if you guys want to reach out to Gwen directly, you guys can do so. So Gwen, like, tell me a little bit, like, uh, we were talking before this call about a week ago, right? Yeah. And, uh, we were talking about how people have uh, insurance on everything, right? It's crazy. Right. They right. have insurance on their, on their car, they have insurance on their, um, on the house, but uh, I think you know we want we wanted to hit home. You hit home with kind of your analogy, you know, and people are not really covered. So tell me a little bit why is uh, life insurance like uh, important, important, and uh, you know, what is it? Most definitely, uh, like I always ask my clients, what is your most valuable asset? And like you stated, they will always say their home or their car. And I can relate to their home because I'm a real estate broker as well. But when I ask them the following question, the follow-up question is, okay, so your home is your most valuable asset. What happens to your most valuable asset if something happens to you? They're like, oh, well, what do you mean? Exactly. What happens to your most valuable asset? Because if it's your home, the mortgage still has to get paid. Yep. The insurance still has to get paid. The maintenance on it. So if something happens to you, what happens to that? It falls to the wayside, right? Because you have insurance on that. You have insurance on your home, your cell phone, your car, but your most valuable asset is yourself. And most people yep. don't get that. It's yourself because anything happens to you, everything that you hold value to falls to the wayside. So you need to protect yourself. And what does that look like? Yep. Insurance, life insurance. And most people feel that they can't afford it. They have a misconception of what it is. Uh, they mm -hmm. think it's just a tool for die, a death. If something happens to me, if I die, yeah. not understanding that life insurance have what we call living benefits. And what are living benefits? Say, for instance, anything happens to you, God forbid, you have a stroke, a heart attack, a cancer. Your life insurance policy will pay you a lump sum or a monthly sum, depending on if it's what we consider a terminal illness, critical illness, or a chronic illness. Most people don't know that about insurance. They just relate it yeah. to being deaf. Uh, life insurance can build you cash value. Well, guess what? You can build cash value to purchase your first time home, and it's tax free yeah. dollars. Most people don't know that. And I yeah. educate I educate my uh, people because I'm in real estate as well. And I educate them on, on insurance, on how to do that, how to make insurance work for you. Work for and, you, yeah. And build uh, build financial wealth through insurance policies. Policy. Yeah. So I myself, I'm learning the game too. I'm no expert in insurance policies mm -hmm. at all. But you were telling me a story about a lady that you kind of met he kind of ushered in her son was buying a condo i think and yeah. uh they kind of like you, yeah they kind of use their insurance pilot maybe shed some light on that story a little bit and like oh. how that kind of transpired because that was awesome it blew me away it actually got me excited yeah you know, so this bit. is before i was uh actually doing insurance right i was a real estate broker i've been a real estate broker for 20 years okay. so i met this young lady uh she was from san francisco and she wanted to purchase a condo for her son. He was coming uh, to Chicago to go to law school. So I said, okay, fine. I asked her 
what she said as far as a mortgage, she said, no, it's going to be a cash deal. So, you know, at that time, it really was like a cash deal. Okay, great. Let's get <laughs> that commission. Easy. Let's get that. Let's <laughs> get that, right? So, and then she said, I said, so what are you looking for? What is your price range? She said, oh, anywhere from 500 to 560,000. So I said, oh, <laughs> the bail's really wrong. <laughs> cash deal, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay. okay. So she flew in uh, from San Francisco. I picked out three condos. When she looked at the three condos, she looked at her son, Brian, and said, Brian, which one do you want? And I looked at her like, really? You gonna let him make a decision on a purchase this big? She said, yes, this money. I said, well, I'm in the wrong business. What does Brian do? She said, oh, it's just from an insurance policy, <laughs> right? <laughs> now, here's the thing. No one went to ask the right questions because at that time, I didn't ask the right question. I just assumed Maybe he was in an accident or something and he got this money. Yeah. So fast forward, exactly. Instead of just asking the question, I assume. So fast forward like four years later. Now I'm into insurance and I called Susan and I was talking to her and I told her because we stayed in connection um, mm -hmm. and I asked her, what type of insurance was that when, we, uh, when you purchased Brian's condo? She said, why do you ask me? I said, because I'm in insurance now. She said, oh, that was an old whole life policy. I said, old whole life policy? She said, yeah, it was an old whole life policy that we got on Brian when he was a baby. And it just built cash value. And when he turned 18, he wanted to purchase a sports car. And I told him, no, Brian, you're not going to purchase a sports car. Just wait. She said, when he graduated from college, he still wanted that same sports car. She said, no, Brian, just wait. We're going to get you something. Just wait. And then they finally, when we decided to go to law school, they took that money, tax-free dollars, and purchased his condo. So. That is awesome. That is. I was like, wow. So, and it was like, you know what? How things connected, right? Mm -hmm. it, it was, I had no clue, was not even thinking about insurance, didn't have a clue that I would be in insurance. But when that hit, I'm like, wow. And when I got into insurance and started understanding how people, wealthy people, yes. use insurance mm -hmm. to build a legacy, to build uh, financial wealth, to build generational wealth doing, through insurance. I was like, wow. And every time I tell that story to people, they're like, I, really? And I tell Susan, you know what? I always use your story. <laughs> yeah, you got to. You got I to. always so use your story. Relate. Yeah. yeah pe people have to relate. And we're all about, you know, uh, building like, uh, you know, businesses and helping them to sustain their businesses so they can have a legacy for generations to come. That's what, you know, my goal and my passion was within building my accounting firm. I seen it was a financial literacy gap, gap between the people that I was around and just like my family in general. And I didn't want to go out there and be, you know, just like a worker or something like that. I wanted to help people get to where they're going. So that's what all we're, you know, we're about, you know, building, you know, sustainable business organizations, you know, to help build that generational wealth, you know, for generations to come. And I thought it would be an awesome, you know, topic to get you on here to talk about just another way, you know, you guys can, because, uh, you know, I'm definitely not a pro at insurance policies and the surrender value and all that stuff. I heard about it, right? Right. But, but I'm not, you know, an expert on that. So I definitely, you know, have Gwen here. In my corner, we met in the library, so I'm definitely going to, you know, keep her in my corner. So um, definitely anything else that you want to, like, share with us, because I don't want to keep you, like, too long today. Well, what I want people to know, insurance is affordable. Most people mm -hmm. think that it's not. It is affordable. Um, there's three type of insurance policies. There's a term policy, and a term is what it says. It can be 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years. And in that term policy, once you uh, end that term policy, if it's a 10-year term, once that 10-year term is up, then you no longer have insurance, right? So your insurance is no longer, but you're 10 years older. Now, if you're going to get insurance, then it's going to cost you more because now you're 10 years older. Yeah. There's another thing called return of premium which is another form of a term policy, right? And that term policy, say for the same 10 years, you decide, okay, nothing happens to you, God forbid, nothing happened to, to you in those 10 years, you will get your premium back. What is premium? That is your monthly payment that you have paid for those 10 years. 
So whatever your uh, premium was, if you paid $100 a month uh, for 10 years, you would get that money back, return of premium. And once you collect that money back, you no longer have uh, insurance and you have to get insurance again. Once again, you're 10 years older. It's then, harder, yeah. You know, insurance is predicated on your age yep. and your, your health. The younger you are, the better, the low cost, right? Then there's a exactly. the thing where I call it the, the uh, not the Maybach, but I call it the phantom of <laughs> insurance. <laughs> I call it the phantom of insurance, which is an IUL. Now, uh, most people will relate that to a whole life policy uh, because it is a permanent policy and it will carry you until you're 120 years old. But it has living benefits. It has a cash value where you can accumulate a cash value where it is is tax free dollars. So most people would get that on, on their children, and when they turn 18, guess what? They pull that money out for them to go to college. Or when they get 30 or 25 to 30 years old, and they get married. Guess what? They pull that money for them to pay for the, a wedding, and it has that uh, living benefit in case anything happens to you a chronic illness, a terminal illness, a critical illness, the insurance company would pay you out. And that goes for the term and as well as the uh, return of premium as well. That same uh, living benefit applies. Okay. And then there's things called annuities for individuals who's looking to retire, right? You have your yep. 401k, you have your 403b, your 457b. People that get ready to retire, they get that money, they don't know what to do with it. They start spending it, it's not enough money for them to live off of, they gotta go work at Walmart, Costco or whatever. There's things called annuity where you can build your money anywhere from uh, 6% to 11%, right? And that's a lot more than probably what you're getting in any bank you put your money in, any IRA, any 401k. And the thing is with the annuity is you don't lose. In your 401k, you put your money in your 401k, your company matches you, right? And you say, mm -hmm. great, they're going to match me and my money is growing, but you don't have a clue to what it's going to. You're not familiar with the stocks. You're not sure what this Vanguard is doing. You don't know. You just know that, oh, I am going to be matched by my company. Then you look up what you put in and what you have doesn't add up. Yeah. That's because your your company is putting your money, your 401k, 403b, putting your money into stocks. They buy stocks. You don't know anything about it. But you're taking on the risk for somebody else to make a decision yeah. for your money. But you're taking the risk. So when the stops, stocks go up, you're good, you're cool because you're happy, right? But what happens when it comes down? Now you're feeling the pain of that. And you had no say-so. But I just signed this paper and said, okay, you guys do what you're going to do. With an annuity, you will not lose. Why won't you lose? Your money, when the stock goes up, your money grows. When the stock falls, your money is level, meaning it does not drop. It, does, it doesn't go anywhere. Why is that, Gwen? I'm glad you asked. That's because the insurance company takes on the risk. They hedge it. They, right. They take on the risk. So you're good. With your 401k, you're taking on all the risk. So if it's anybody right. out there who's getting ready to retire, they have 401k, they want to take their money out and secure it so you can outlive your money and not find yourself living from paycheck to paycheck and don't have enough money to carry you over. You got to get a second job. When you retire, yeah, you, yeah. when you retire, you retire. You want to be able to live comfortably without worrying about your next meal, your next uh, bill. And the notice yeah. is a way to, to do that and help people do that. Exactly. We don't want to see you guys become a Walmart greeter, right? You see all those Walmart greeters, even though they're cute, right? But uh, you'll see they probably especially didn't when you, plan too well. Especially <laughs> when you, you've been planning for 30 years not to do yeah. that. So when you yeah. plan for 30 years, I mean, you have to have a plan that's going to be uh, vital and help you secure yourself where you can outlive your your, your your retirement. You won't have to worry about that. So that's what I do as well. We also help small businesses uh, with uh, life insurance as far as key uh, insurance for the key person. It's a number of things you can do to help your small business uh, with okay. insurance. So a yeah, lot of people saw, don't know about it. 
Yeah, a lot of people don't know about this stuff. So that's why we kind of bring together, you know, a network of people. And I'm still young, you know, I'm 30 now. So I'm building my network of people so I can share value. So there's tons of value out there, but people's, you know, they have to, you know, want it, right? They have to understand a little bit what it is. And then they kind of have to, you know, take that initial step to, you know, execute on those things. Right. So, yeah, you definitely, you know, shed a lot of knowledge here. And definitely we're going to be, you know, talking, you know, building our relationship. But definitely if we want to reach you, Gwen, what's a good um, like uh, place to reach you? You guys can reach me uh, via email. That is gjamesfinancial1 at gmail.com. Or feel free to send me a text message at area code 312-550-3034. Again, that's 312-550-3034. And for my uh, Latin community, that's 312-550-3034. All right. All right. So you guys can reach out to me at Dudley Accounting Service at DudleyAccountingServices.com as usual. Gwen is in my corner. So if you guys, you know, have trouble reaching her, you guys can go through me to reach her. I will definitely connect you guys. And definitely, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. Um, definitely good to have some, you know, new faces rather than seeing mine. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, guys. All right, guys. We'll check out here. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace.